traders and welcome back to another market review brought to you by Orbex. So after the long bank holiday weekend in America, markets are finally open. We've got ISM manufacturing PMI later today and the all important NFP figures on the end of the week. Expected to be a lot better than last time around where we had a very heavy miss and saw quite a big weakness on the greenback. And that's actually been the story of play for most of August. We had quite a big sell off at the beginning of August, very weak dollar. <laughs> excuse me for most of the month but we're having a little bit of a comeback now dollar uh, the gold is really pressured after breaking 2500 we're just seeing now on the chart that um, you know, 2500 level is roughly about here we're just trading a few dollars under it and as you can see here rejection after rejection hitting another record high uh, above 2530 so as you can see here very heavy rejections very undecided market at the moment and now we actually have broken 2500 so it could be a case of now looking at the other levels going back down to 2480 possibly another 15 20 dollar sell-off in today's session alone <coughs> excuse me depending on what the ism data brings us but nothing too much in the way of a worry that we will get a big sell-off on gold obviously middle eastern tensions are still heightened geopolitical tensions are still heightened and we've got the all important fed decision in a couple of weeks time so Will we see more of an upshift in the yellow metal? We'll have to obviously wait and see. But as you can see here, very heavily pressured. And the consensus is that we probably won't have um, another push for a few more trading sessions towards this particular record at the moment. But you never know what can happen in the world. Obviously, overnight, something can happen and change the dynamic, especially with gold being such a safe haven asset as it is. So let's just take a look on the dollar index. Where does that leave the dollar at the moment? Well, obviously, with gold just having a bit of a downturn, we are bouncing away now from the 100 level on the dollar index. And we just pulled the chart all the way back on the four hour at the moment. As you can see here, heavy decline for most of August, like I said, since we saw this big sell off in the market in general, where we saw indices uh, start crashing, making a bit of a recovery now, but still having quite a day to, well, a week or so to forget. Now we're just seeing another push to the upside, just above, uh, well, sorry, just below the 102 level. So a few more dollars to shift and get particularly back to the major swings uh, that we've seen in the market previously. So what's your take on it? Let me know what you think. This video will be posted on our YouTube and Telegram channel. So feel free to like, subscribe, and leave a message, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, don't forget to ISM data later on today and also the really important NFP figures, but obviously we'll be bringing you all the latest in the fundamentals and technicals until then. So have a great trading day until next time and bye for now.